Hey guys, Bo Spurlock with Hellhound Outdoors. I just want to do a quick video today on how I strap my nose. So, I'll be showing you basically this. And all it is, let's see if you can see it. It's just a piece of uh, just real fine grade leather. And all I did was just wipe Vaseline on it. I'm getting ready to re lube another one of these. So, I'll go ahead and show you how I do that, and then I'll show you the effect it has on a knife. Be right back, guys. All right, this one's a little bit thicker. You can see the thickness of it. But uh, compared to this one, anyway, it's just a little bit thicker. And the only thing I want to do is just regular, just $2 Vaseline. Just get some of it, and really just rub it into the leather. Until it. And I just do it until it's wet. Once it's wet, it's pretty much good. I'll show you that here in a second. Well, once you do it the first time, it really don't take long at all. You know what I mean? Because it's just reapplying and just to moisten it up. I guess you could seal it in a bag or something full of Vaseline. But anyways, I don't know how much you can tell, but you can kind of see it's pretty wet now. So, one of my favorite knives, LT Wright Genesis. You can see it's got a pretty good polish on it. But, I was using it a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and just touch it up a little bit. And all I'll do use this one I just made earlier is just put it right here on the edge of the wood so that way it gives me a little drag point and then just basically just nice and simple get whatever angle you're wanting to use and then just drag the knife of course you don't want to cut forward if you go forward well then it's going to cut into the leather But pretty much, you know, once you've got a knife sharp, if it's a good blade, you know, if it's a good knife, once you've got a, you know, sharp, you should never have to really put it on a stone again unless you've done something to damage the blade. Like nicks, chips, stuff like that. And you always want to get the same amount on both sides. But let me uh, find a rag here and I'll wipe this down for you. Give me one second. See what it looks like here. This knife is a LT Wright Genesis. I can't remember if it's a2 or 01 tool steel but let me bring you around here real quick see the how it did not a scratch one in the polish now that's what I was getting out now this was already polished whenever I got it you know pretty much mirror finished but I uh, had went out and used it and whenever I went out using it I uh, you know there's a couple scratches in it and the thing about this knife you know I mean I love it to death it's like the fifth one I've owned, but uh, I end up trading my trade a lot. Every time I do, the first thing I think is I would really love to have that knife back. So I got this one back, and this is the first one that actually had a polished edge on it. And in saying that, 
sorry guys, messing with the camera, but in saying that, it's also a problem because where it's got that mirror polish on it, I find myself not wanting to use it, not wanting to, you know, do stuff with it because I'm like, oh, I don't want to mess up the, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I worry about that kind of stupid stuff, but that's just me. Anyways, another thing is pretty much just, this is something simple you can just throw in a bag or whatever and, you know, in a Ziploc bag and just put a little bit of extra Vaseline in there, maybe in a tube or something. It don't take no weight and it's very easy to use for anybody, even if you've never stropped a knife before. There's a lot of different ways to strop. Um, you know, people's, there's stropping wheels even for your grinders. Um, people use rouge, like jeweler's rouge. Um, you know, people use uh, wax, car wax. I've seen people use that. Um, there's just all kinds of different kinds of compounds you can impregnate the leather with. And there's all kinds of different strops. There's, you know, like this one is just a, a freehand strop, you know, just a piece of leather. There's some mounted on a piece of wood. There's some mounted on round wheels. There's some that's like a belt to hang. I just prefer to have a flat surface because then I'm not, you know, making the edge convex, if that makes sense, if uh, you understand what I'm saying. But this was just a quick video on that, guys, and I just wanted to share it with you. I know it's been a while since I've done any videos, but I plan to rectify that. And I'll be back as soon as possible with another video. Um, i got a couple in the works. I've got a, a couple of knobs I'm wanting to review and just some other things I've got going on. Anyways. Again, I'm Bo Spurlock with Hellhound Outdoors. Uh, I thank you all for hanging in there with me. I still got, you know, the, about the same number of subscribers I had before. I've probably taken a good six months leave, but I'm back. So, um, as always, like, subscribe, tell your friends, help me get this channel grown. And, you know, the more it grows, the more I can do. Thank you all.